Now we actually have to learn something. All the excitement aside and all the motivation being built up today, we're going to learn how a blog works, what a blog is, and why that helps you. Now a blog isn't complicated. You have basically, it, it looks like a regular website. You know, you scroll on the upper left hand corner, you have all the different pages that are associated with the blog. First you have the title, and then you have what are called blog posts. As you can see, this is an actual post in this blog, right? And the reason you know it's a post is because if you scroll down, there's another one right below it. So if I select this post, it brings me to a separate web page, which has its own title, and notice it's actually got the title, which is the name of the post. So that's really important for you to realize is when you make a new post in a blog, if you have a good blog, it's going to rename that post with the exact title because this is how Google's going to see it. The how to make money online, you know, blogging episode three, et cetera, et cetera. And Google's going to scan over this text and they'll know exactly what this page is about, and then they'll scan over your content, and they'll compare all three together to make sure you're actually talking about what the title says, and they have a whole bunch of criteria by which they determine whether your content is quality. So that's essentially the basic rundown of how a, a post works. So every time you make a post, you're creating a whole new page. Notice this is the actual URL of the web page that was created when I created a new post. So this is what we call the front end of the blog. It's the basic home page of the blog, which I have here, and I could scroll down through it. On the right hand side, I have my categories, and I can set these up myself. We'll talk more about that later. And then on the left hand side, you have all your basic posts. Most of you have seen this already, the structure in some way. Now, what some, most of you have not seen is what's called the blog back end. The blog back end is usually called your dashboard, and on the left hand side, you can manage all of that information. The beautiful thing about WordPress is you don't actually have to know coding in order to use it. So let's say we want to make a new blog post. All you need to do is go to the post section and select add new. Again, we're going to go into much more detail about this later. And then I can type in a test post here and I'll just say test post. And what I have is a plugin that automatically generates a friendly URL or what they call a permalink for Google. So it's Google friendly. So they'll say test post is the title and then the URL which would normally be up here is going to be pcmichiana.com slash test post and then I can go in here it's a standard word editor to actually write my blog. On the right hand side I can save my draft, I can uh, preview it, I can also publish the post whenever I want or I can even schedule it to publish at a later date so I could write all my blogs in advance if I wanted to. Of course down here you have tags, we're going to talk more about that later, that's extremely important for search engine friendly websites and you have categories here as well which are also important but basically you can scroll down here and set up your own categories by just clicking add new category. A lot of this is extremely straightforward, this is a general overview in this video, we're going to go into much more detail on this later. And then of course when you scroll down there's some plugins here that I have created. They have the all-in-one SEO pack, but these fields aren't really that important. It doesn't help you with the general structure of a blog. What you need to really take out of this video is that this is what a blog looks like and every time you post a new post or every time you post a new blog, you get a new web page added to your website. Now when you submit your site to Google, you can submit it in a number of ways and I'm going to show you how to do all that in the video series as well. It's going to submit a site map using this plugin. It'll automatically generate for you. It'll automatically send it to Google. See, Google was successfully notified about changes. What you really need to know is that it's going to submit it every time you make a new post. So WordPress has the ability to update Google when you add new plugins and new pages. How does this help you with generating revenue? Well, you need the search engines to see you. You need them to know what you're talking about, and you need them to know when you do updates. Google tracks over the long term how many updates you've done and the quality of those updates based upon the people who are visiting your site. Over time you build a rank. Sometimes they call this a page rank. I'm still only page rank 1 out of 10, of course, which is the beginner page rank, but that doesn't really intimidate me all that much because I've only been around for about 6 months. People with higher page ranks really have been around for quite a while, but the important thing is, is that Google's starting to build that portfolio for me. Now I have a number of other tools that will help you determine how well Google sees you, how many of pages they have submitted. We're not going to go into those right now. What you need to know is basically when you create a blog, you have a structure here with WordPress that's designed to work beautifully 
with search engines and updating content and telling them what, how they're working and what they're about, and it's automatically going to be done for you, and you don't need to manually know how to do this stuff. It's already built into the software itself. Of course, on the blog, you have more fun stuff like media. You can update Im upload images manually. Under the uh, links, you can add your links to your that show up on your right-hand side of your main page, which would be over here. I have a link section right here. And then, of course, uh, you also have the appearance, which you can select different themes to choose from. So you can actually choose, you know, how you, what your layout's going to be and change it later on, which is nice. You have plugins, which I talked about earlier. Those, these are kind of like extensions, and they add new features. There's my plugins. I've spent a long time finding good ones. And, of course, you have a user base, so people can register to your site and leave comments and ratings and things like that. And, of course, we also have a number of other, you know, a number of other settings which are a little more detailed for this for this video. So that's all there is to this video. I wanted you to get a basic idea of how blogs are structured and how that helps you out with your revenue stream. Helps you generate revenue because it's automatically generating the search engine friendliness and things like that for you so you don't have to worry about managing it. You basically just need to write and then over time you're going to build an audience. Of course, there's some other things to building an audience but we're going to go into that as well later on. So as always, leave comments or writings and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because we're going to keep moving forward with teaching you how a blog works. Actually, we're probably going to install WordPress next. So thanks again.